By the end of this video, you'll know how to identify the most common hormonal imbalance. And that, my friend, is estrogen dominance. And along with that, you'll know how to support your client's gut health journey, and you'll leave with helpful cyclical nutrition and fitness recommendations to help yourself and your clients attain hormone balance. My name is Omega Zumpano. I'm an exercise scientist and menstrual cycle educator, and I am here to make the fitness industry more hormone friendly and inclusive by educating personal trainers in hormone health here on YouTube, on Instagram, and in my Cycle Coach Academy certification program. My goal is that you gain the confidence, the skills, and the evidence-based solutions to optimize and balance your clients' hormones and your own hormones in the process as well. My method is different because it was specifically designed for personal trainers like you who suspect that they themselves might have hormonal imbalances and you yourself also might suspect that most of your client base does as well. This appearing on somewhere on screen here is one of my personal straight training students, Emma, who says that embarking on this course was the best investment and the most rewarding leap of faith that she ever made. She says that completing it not only brought a newfound confidence, but marked the most rewarding investment in her coaching journey. She says that she was feeling stuck and frustrated, um, knowing that there's more to health than just macros and workouts. And I know that a lot of us have felt the same way on our personal training journey. And this experience probably resonates with you who have felt a similar frustration, um, seeking a deeper understanding of health and hormones beyond conventional approaches and beyond what your uh, personal training certain has offered. So this video is gonna answer some of those hormone health questions that you've probably had or will have, and it'll give you a framework to support your clients even more than you already do, all within your scope of practice. So let's go. First, we have estrogen dominance and the gut and the liver. So I'd like to lay a foundation of estrogen metabolism for you first so that you can feel confident when starting to talk to your clients about your estrogen balancing strategies for them. The liver plays a pivotal role in processing estrogen, and most people's liver is overloaded with toxins. And the big one in this case, while we're on the topic of estrogen dominance, being da -da -da -da, environmental estrogens like DDT, BPs, and poly products. I will talk about how this impacts estrogen later, but just keep that in your brain space. So. On top of that, if your client deals with poor gut health from things like overusing antibiotics, birth control, um, if they have SIBO or simply have an imbalance in healthy gut bacteria, their ability to offload estrogen becomes impaired. Our gut bacteria actually has a subcolony of estrogen metabolizing bacteria, and this is called the estrobolome. It thrives on what all healthy gut bacteria thrive on, aerobic exercise and fiber. The simple act of one of your clients just showing up for their personal training sessions can help them fortify their estrobolome. At this point, you probably have an image of your client in your head that this person describes like birth control antibiotics, or maybe it's you, right? For me, supporting my gut health uh, when I had PCOS, hypothyroid syndrome, gained 30 pounds in three months was pivotal. And I talked about all that in this video right here. Um, and I'll link that in the description below. So next, let's talk about estrogen dominance and fat metabolism. So we're gonna uh, decipher the impact now. Since you're a trainer, you've probably come into contact with a lot of women who have quote unquote stubborn fat. And as an aside, I would really love to do away with terms like that and body shaming in general, um, especially in our industry. Give me a like if you're like, yes, I agree. And subscribe if you haven't already. And in the same vein, we have to talk about estrogen excess and how it relates to fat metabolism. Studies like this one, published in 2014, is a wonderful resource to understand the intricate relationship between estrogen, 
lipid, AKA fat metabolism and immune cells. Um, if you want to support your client's hormones, undulating periodization and just doing macros is not enough. As Emma shared in what she shared in the Cycle Coach Academy private Facebook group, um, addressing the underlying causes are actually just as important if you want to optimize your clients results and uh, dare I say get them there faster I want to share four estrogen balancing basics that I teach to my students in the cycle coach Academy these basics have helped my personal training students get their clients results such as a better skin like Daniela shared better gut health like Leslie shared and more consistent results like Anastasia shared so here are the four estrogen balancing basics I teach in the cycle coach Academy number one we cyclically de decrease dependency on caffeine caffeine overloads the liver and if this seems rough to think about i want you to check out my post on cycling your caffeine intake that i will link below get a little preview right here you don't have to abolish caffeine from your life you just have to be smarter about if and how you use it number two we have an increase in fiber intake to reduce uh, estrogen fiber is helpful for detoxifying estrogen from the body via the colon the RDA is 30 grams and uh, just so happens that 30 grams is just enough to optimize estrogen metabolism as well. And number three, we have an increasing vitamin B intake. B vitamins provide your liver with the necessary nutrients to detoxify. And later in the video, I'll share a list of B vitamins the RDA and sources in each B vitamin. So re be ready to screenshot that one. And lastly, number four, reduce dependency on endocrine disruptors like phthalates, bisphenols, parabens, benzophenes, etc. If you wanna learn more about environmental estrogens, I'll also link another video in the description and you can watch it later. Uh, section number three is estrogen dominance and PMS. Ever wondered if PMS intertwines with exercise performance? Estrogen dominance can exacerbate PMS symptoms, significantly affecting energy level and mood. This article in the British Journal of Sports Medicine shows us that among 6,000 subjects, 90% of them made a note that they have some kind of PMS. Mood changes like anxiety being the highest, then fatigue, and then cramps. Do we really want to feel like that for half the month, 90% of us? Comment below it and tell me if you or one of your clients deal with one or more of those symptoms. If you understand how hormones work and how to support hormones with nutrition, you can give your clients a performance advantage by helping them manage PMS and therefore exercise performance. And that is so valuable for your clients. Now let's talk about estrogen dominance and how that interferes with progesterone. So far, we've talked about the liver and the gut's role with estrogen dominance, as well as how fat metabolism and exercise performance is impacted by estrogen dominance. But this next topic is probably the most important, so I'm so glad you stayed this far. It's estrogen's relationship or the ratio to progesterone that really matters. In the second half of the luteal phase, progesterone should dominate as the most abundant sex hormone in circulation. This helps not only build the lining of the uterus, but it actually supports mood stabilizing neurotransmitters too. Estrogen dominance often interferes with progesterone's role here, creating a tip in the hormone scale. This hormone imbalance can manifest as estrogen dominance, irregular menstrual cycles, painful periods, unexplained cycle bone anxiety, spotting before the period starts. So let's talk about foods, lifestyle, and exercise for liver support. To empower your clients, it's crucial to address the root cause here. The approach that I teach to my personal training students in the Cycle Coach Academy encompasses cyclical nutrition, cyclical exercise, periodization, and lifestyle choices that support hormone balance. And we customize it for each person. It's not like there are like protocols that you can find online. 
So let's look deeper at the one cyclical nutrition recommendation that can support estrogen dominance that's very universal so that you can talk to your clients about this confidently. This is a list of B vitamins, what foods are highest in each, the RDA, and so on and so forth. So first we have vitamin B1. The RDA is one and a half milligrams. That's uh, in sunflower seeds has, a, sunflower seeds has 1.96 milligrams and this is three ounces. We have liver, uh, swordfish, we have brewer's yeast, uh, walnuts, barley, black eyed peas, and for vitamin B12, we have clams, 98 micrograms. B vitamins along with at least of 30 grams of fiber a day in the luteal phase is enough of a nutrition approach that you will start seeing the needle move on estrogen dominance. Which is so cool and it's so basic and anybody can do it. Along with this, your clients or you might be curious about seed cycling. Seed cycling is an awesome way to get nutrients that support the hormones through the cycle. I made an Instagram post a while back and I will link that below. You'll see a screenshot right here um, and you can reference seed cycling there as well. And I know I've given you a lot of resources here, so make sure to go in the description after this video. The cherry on top is cyclical exercise. If you're a personal trainer who's into hormones, you already know about cycle syncing. But simply increasing the intensity, or decreasing rather, the intensity throughout the luteal phase of the cycle is not enough if you wanna help your clients reach their goals. I recommend watching this video on exercise program in the luteal phase, which of course, as always, I will link to below again. All right, so now let's talk about how to know if you're on the right track for estrogen dominance management. First, we have the physical and emotional changes. A perceptive personal trainer can gauge the effectiveness in helping a client manage their estrogen levels by observing the physical and emotional changes in the luteal phase. If the client experiences improvements in energy, mood, and overall well-being, it signals that estrogen management strategies are actually making a positive impact. Reduced symptoms of estrogen dominance, uh, such as constipation, cramps, painful periods, cyclical anxiety, depression, that all indicates that what you're doing and what you're implementing is contributing to hormone balance. I also really have to emphasize regular and open communication. Effective communication is a cornerstone of successful hormone health support. You can't just give someone a plan and never check in with them. And if you haven't done so yet, I highly recommend downloading my cyclical assessment guide that you can use in your regular monthly assessments to make introducing the topic of being on your period less taboo and a little easier for you. You'll find that, again, guess where? In the description below, along with everything else. Regular check-ins and discussions about hormonal symptoms create a collaborative environment in general, allowing you to fine tune your approach based on your client's ever evolving needs. So now you know how to identify the most common type of hormonal imbalance, estrogen dominance. Congratulations, you're gonna see this a lot. Along with that, you know how to support your client's gut health journey and you have helpful resources for nutrition and fitness recommendations to help your clients manage hormone balance, baby. Lastly, please remember that you have a million helpful resources down there below. Get in touch with me on Instagram, follow me over there. I'm sharing awesome, amazing content if I do say so myself over there too. And if you're ready to deep dive into mentorship and training in the Cycle Coach Academy, look for the apply button in the description box below. Click that link and you'll spend just 10 minutes on an application and expect a response from me or my team within 24 hours. If you're eligible for the Cycle Coach Academy, we'll plan an application call to explore if working together is a fit. If you're a personal trainer and you love this video, subscribe to get more videos just like this and better and better. If you want a step-by-step -step assessment video to go through that assessment guide that you're going to download, you can watch this video next. I will see you there.